Yo, 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 what is going on today? It's Drayden here, and today we are making a Skrillex bass sound from his song Fuji Opener or Ping Pong or uh, whatever. So hear what it sounds like. All right. If you like that sound, please consider subscribing and smash that like button. All right, so let's do this. So this was a request from Anomaly, so shout out Anomaly for the idea. So let me remove the post process. So here's the patch. So here's what I did. I took the pulse width modulation medicine hat under analog, right over here. FM it from B, from a Juno, also under analog. So I left that one at zero and put the other one at plus three. Next, you want to put the filter to A, choose the under multi, it's a high pass notch. So next, you want to put an EQ with a low pass and a notch. Right here, you can copy those settings. After that, I only put like a hyper dimension, a phaser. So I turn the rate all the way down, put the depth around 62, the frequency around 62 also, feedback at 13, and phase all the way down. And you want to finish that with a compressor. Okay, so for the LFO, what you want to do is create the shape you want and come and drag it over here on the level and turn the level all the way down, right? Next, you want to put the LFO one on the FM from B. I put this one at 35 and the LFO at 30. Next, come and drag it to the cutoff. The cutoff is at 75 and I put the LFO at 25 and the frequency at 82 and it's going down at minus 46. Cool, so... Next, I put this one on the low pass filter. It's going all the way up. And for the notch, it's going minus 19 from 1.5K. All right, so this one is really up to your taste. And uh, finally, on the uh, phaser, you want to put the LFO to 8. Okay, so here what it sounds like. One last thing is that. I put the LFO4 here under the matrix. You want to assign that to master tune, so it's right here under global. And right now, it's bipolar. So like the value in the middle, right here, is like the note you would play on your keyboard. So that way it's like going maybe plus one, going down minus two, and going back to the original value. I put a master tune at around three or four. All right, so now for the post process, what I did, I put an erosion just to give it a little bit of a lo-fi high greediness. But it's really subtle. Next, you want to put a chorus. I think it's the uh, default stock uh, chorus in Ableton. Yeah. So just put the default. You can play around with that. Also, you can try a Yeoman if you want to try another effect. What you can do is try this one. And you can modulate uh, the uh, dry wet and feedback. But today we're not going with this one. Okay, so next I put a delay. This one is really subtle, but it's just to give the sound a little bit more depth. Okay, so next you want to put a note key. The only thing I did on the OTT is that I um, decreased the compression from the high band and the uh, mid band. You can do that to taste also. Next, I put a utility because I thought the sound was like super, super wide. And if you listen to the track, the sound's going like, um, the first hit is in mono, but then it goes wider. So if you would like to re recreate the exact same effect, we'll have to do something like uh, this. And after that, like something like this.
for dubstep basses, it's a really good idea to remove all the side from, I don't know, at least at least 150, but I, I prefer to remove like a lot of it. Maybe going like to uh, two, three or uh, 500, all right? And I finished uh, this chain with a saturator. <laughs> Finally, what I did, I just applied Fat Rack inspired by, um, I think it was Virtual Riot who, uh, who showed his thought and process when uh, doing those kind of racks. So that's it, you have it. All right, so there's one last thing I want to show you is you can really play around with the uh, dispatch and change the wavetable. Here's another sound I come up with only like messing around with the wavetables. I've used this one, uh, metal but stable and the matrix 74. This one's really more aggressive. Also another pro tip is that I would probably apply a filter in the uh, patch itself and play around with different settings. Like this one. Alright, so that's it for today. I hope you've learned something. If you have any questions, write them down in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.